I'm about to share a method for Home Assistant remote access thanks to Cloudflare Tunnel that I'm using for years. And this method is easy to implement and it works on all type of networks including the ones without real IPs and behind CGNet. This method is fast and well maintained, no port forwarding is required, SSL access is possible and it was completely free until very recently. Now it is costing me 7 cents per month, which is not that expensive, don't you think? These 7 cents are going to a paid domain name and before that I used not very reliable free domain. For good or for bad, the free domain configuration is not working anymore. And not because something is wrong with this method, but because the free domains from freenome.com website that we all used were banned by Cloudflare and this combination was suddenly dead. I don't blame Cloudflare as Freenom.com were not accepting new registration from a long time and definitely something is not quite right with that free service anymore. At least I feel it that way without knowing all the details. Soon after these free domains were banned from Cloudflare, I started to search for alternatives. I wanted to find another either free or super cheap domain that I could fully control so I can use that domain for my Cloudflare tunnel to my home assistant in my camper. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to find a free and reliable domain. If you happen to know such, please share it in the comments. But luckily I noticed a comment somewhere on the internet that you can get a super cheap .xyz domain that contains digit only, which is perfect for me as I didn't care what will be the domain name as long as I can remember it. So I quickly checked that using namecheap.com registrar and indeed such domain with only digits and ending with .xyz was costing around 90 cents per year, that is around 7 cents per month and more importantly their renewal is on the same price. So I decided to try that and here is what happened. I bought a 6 digits.xyz domain that I can easily remember from namecheap.com. Of course you don't have to do the same and you can get any domain you like. It doesn't have to be digits only and if you are happy to pay for other domain name like .com or .org, go for it. They are not that expensive and everything will work the same way. Anyways, once I bought the domain, I opened my domain name settings in the namecheap.com portal and I changed the DNSs to the one that I have in my Cloudflare account. Yes, you also need a Cloudflare account for this to work. But don't worry, this account is all free. Inside my Cloudflare account I added a new site. This is the domain that I bought from Namecheap with digits only. Then I click on add site. I selected here the free plan because it works fine. You have to scroll down a bit to see it. Then I click continue. Next step is to get the DNSs. I'll copy the first one. And I'll go back to my name chip settings and I'll paste as name server one. Then I'll copy the second name server from Cloudflare and I'll paste it under name server two in my name chip account settings. And I'll save the changes. I waited a bit for my domain to start to use the new Cloudflare DNSs. This process could take up to 24 hours, but usually it's happening way faster. In my case, it took less than an hour and I even received a mail confirmation for that. Then I installed the Cloudflare add-on available in the Home Assistant add-on store. Open my test Home Assistant. I'll press the C button on my keyboard to invoke the search bar and I'll type add-on and I'll go to the add-on store. Then I'll click on these three dots menu, repositories, and I'll paste the Cloudflare repository here. You can get this from the video description. The author of this is Tobias. Thank you, Tobias. Please continue supporting this gorgeous add-on. And I'll click add and then close. Here it is, add-on repository for Cloudflare. I'll click on this and I'll click install. If you don't have add-on section in your Home Assistant, that means you are not running Home Assistant OS or supervised installation type. If you want to know more about the different installation types of Home Assistant, check my webinar. I am explaining there everything about this topic. 
it is completely free and you can register on my website automatelike.pro slash webinar. The Cloudflare add-on is now installed and I'll go to the configuration section and I'll click save. I'm ready to start the Cloudflare add-on in Home Assistant but before that I have to add some YAML code in my configuration.yaml file. For that I'll open my file editor and I'll open the configuration.yaml file. Of course, you can use any other text editor that you wish. Inside the configuration.yaml file, I'll paste the following lines, which will allow requests from the Cloudflare add-on. I'll hit save, and then I'll restart my Home Assistant. Home Assistant has started, and I'll go again to my add-on section, add -on store, Cloudflare add-on, and I'll hit the start button. Then I'll go to the lock tab and I'll hit refresh constantly here. So far so good. Please open the following URL and log in with your Cloudflare account. Okay. I'll copy this and I'll paste it in a new tab. I had to re-log in again with my Cloudflare credentials and to confirm the creation of my Home Assistant tunnel. Back to the action. After my Cloudflare tunnel is confirmed, and my Cloudflare Home Assistant add-on is started, I can try to open my pay domain name with digits only for 7 cents monthly from my, from my browser. And voila, I can see my Home Assistant web interface opened and everything is legit over HTTPS with no warnings about the SSL certificate. That means I can even set up my mobile Home Assistant companion app to use this domain address and everything will work great. Before I continue further, I want to share that there are some other methods to achieve similar Home Assistant remote access. The first one is super easy but at the same time, it is the most expensive one. It is known as Home Assistant Cloud or Nabucasa subscription, and it is coming directly from the Home Assistant authors. There is even a dedicated menu for it in the Home Assistant settings. To activate it, you have to pay six and a half dollars or seven and a half euro per month, depending on your location. This method has some more benefits like very easy Amazon Alexa integration and access to neural network powered text to speech as part of the subscription. But overall, this is way more expensive than the current method that I'm showing you. The other method is free, but you have to have a real IP and you have to open a network port in your home network. Then you have to use either DuckDNS or Nginx Home Assistant add-ons and a free DuckDNS.org subdomain. These methods are very similar and are entirely free but they require some more steps to be implemented and in some networks, some countries and some internet providers, they are impossible to work. Using a VPN is also a good option, but there are some limitations there as well, such as lack of push notification from the Home Assistant companion app. And that can be a showstopper. So, the Home Assistant remote access using Cloudflare tunnel that I'm describing is in the golden middle. It is not expensive and it is universal as it can work almost anywhere for less than an hour because of the DNSs and for less than a dollar per year I have a secure and reliable HTTPS connection to my home assistant. Once again, if you have a better domain name deal that is confirmed to working, don't keep it only for yourself and share it in the comments. Don't forget to download my free smart home glossary. Thanks for watching. I'm Kiryu and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!